In this video, we're going to show you how to enter a quote from start to finish. First step is go to your Customer Service tab and click on Customer Management. You can use the Filter tab, go by Company Name, and filter the customer that you want to enter the quote for. Go ahead and hit the Search button, and Dealer Sample is a customer we want to use. Notice that we're on Quotes, and we're going to go ahead and select New. Here in the order header is where we store the information about the specific quote for the job. Most of the fields are populated by the information that is in the customer's file. It's a good idea to always fill out the reference field. This will help you find the order at a later date. The next tab down is your shipping and bill to address. This will have automatically been populated by the customer's files, but if you need to make changes, here's where you make them. Once the information in the order header has been completed, to the right hand side is the items tab. Once you're in here, you'll see a blank window. If there were any items in here, this is where they would have been displayed. To input a new item, select the first button over here on the right hand side. Once you select the button, it'll give you the different product series as well as the product families that are associated with each product series. You'll notice as we start selecting a different product series that the product families will change also and this corresponds with the different styles of products you can do for each series. For this example, we're going to go ahead and input a 1550 window. I'm going to select a 1550 XO and then hit the next button. This will bring you to the individual items page. In order to change the size, you want to highlight the width, enter the size that you're looking for, tab over to the height, and when you're done, hit enter, and that'll change the size on the product. Over here on the left-hand side, you can pick the different options that are associated with each product series and window type. If we want to change this to an extruded color, you pick extruded. You also have different paint options. In future videos, we'll go through some of the different options for each of the series. Now that we've selected the options for the window, go ahead and hit the Save button at the bottom right. It will also give you the ability to put in a reference for each item as well as a location. Hit the checkbox and now you'll see the items as they populate. If you want to add another item, go ahead and hit the button on the right or if you're finished, go ahead and hit save. Once you hit save, it gives you the options to either send an email. The email address would have had to have been populated based on the information when you entered the customer or you can hit print. Here you can select the documents you want to print from order, material requirement, assembly list, orders, orders without price, or material requirements. You can select it in either a PDF, Word document, or Excel, or you can just hit print. Now we go back to the customer management section. You'll notice that the quote on top is the one that we just saved. You'll notice that the reference says test, and you have some options. If you want to go back and edit, you can hit the open document. You can copy the document, you can put create alternative, you can delete the document, print it, or email it. In editing it, you can go back and open the document. At this point, you can edit anything in the order header. We can also go back into the item and edit its options and pricing. Let's go ahead and hit the edit button. You'll notice here that automatically update prices comes up. If you select yes, then when you change an option, the price will change accordingly. If you select no, the price that was originally there when you inputted the order will stay fixed no matter what options you choose. Notice that the price down here on the bottom left, as we change options, that price will change depending on the option that we choose. Now we have an option to manually change the pricing. If you select the tab with the dollar sign down here on the bottom, you can select either changing the price manually or doing it with a discount percentage. Let's go ahead and change that price to do a 10% discount. Hit enter and we'll hit save. Now when you confirm the order, it'll also ask you what was the reason for the price change. The other option we have is price by order. Once you select the button on the top right, you can put what the order total is and hit save down at the bottom right. Now let's go back to the order and print the quote. You'll notice because the last option we did was the order pricing, 
that you'll just see the total on the order and no price on the individual item. If you had stuck with the original choice and done each individual item, then each of the items would have been itemized with the pricing and the order would reflect the total of those items. And that's how we enter a quote and open Janella. For additional information, please visit us on the web. Thank you for watching.